In this video, I'm going to create a home page for my Blackboard course. I'm making this video using Screencast-O-Matic, software for making screen shares. And I'm going to do this in a sandbox course that I haven't done anything to. This is exactly how it came. It might not look identical to how your course came set up, but Yours probably looks something like this. There's an announcements tab and a few other things. So right now, when a student enters this course, if this were not a sandbox, they would enter into the announcements section and I can verify that by entering student preview. This is what it would look like to enter my course. I prefer that they enter into a content area, something that I'll call a home page where I can control what exactly the first thing they see is and keep the most important stuff on the home page. So mine came with something called course content. This is a content area. You can tell it's a content area because you can put content in it. You can build content of various kinds here. You can add assessments, quizzes, assignments, turn it in assignments. You can add discussion boards and various other kinds of tools here. To create a new content area, you can click the plus sign here and add a content area. Or I've already got one, so I'm just going to change its name to homepage. Right now, this homepage is not visible to students, so I'm going to make sure that I show the link. And this little dotted box here means that there's no content in this content area. So again, it's invisible to students. And I can verify that using the student preview. They can't see the home page. So the first thing I'm going to do is just put something on the home page. I'm going to create an item. This is just a way of posting anything, information or whatever to a content area. Now that this content area has something in it and is visible to students, I'm gonna go down to the course management area, customization, teaching style, and change the entry point for the course. You can have anything in the main menu that's visible to students as an entry point to your course. And now when students enter the course, they will enter this content area. And you can put the most important or timely stuff here. Or you could have the same thing here, but it's just like a typical homepage, a way of navigating the course. One thing that I like to do is create other content areas in the main menu and then link to stuff that I want students to do whatever is most current or timely on the home page. For example, I'll create content areas for different kinds of activities, like I'll put all of the quizzes in one spot, and I'll put all of the papers in one spot, and you can add a little subtitle here to organize the various kinds of things that are in the main menu. And then say I build a quiz. I don't have one ready to go, so I would have to create a new one. Okay, now I have a quiz to select. And now I'm going to decide what students see when I put it there. I'm just going to go through this quickly. I'm going to show the description. I'm not going to change anything else. OK, so now there is a quiz here with instructions. I'm going to make it available. Now I can go to the home page, and I can create a course link to pretty much anything in my course, either 
a link to one of the areas, like I could create a course link to the quizzes section. That's something I could do, and that will bring me to quizzes. Or alternatively, I can create a link directly to a quiz. And notice there is nothing here. When I click this, it'll actually just open up the quiz, whereas here I had instructions. So if you link to a quiz, you're going to want to copy and paste those instructions. You can also organize the things you want students to do for a particular day into a folder. So if you create a content folder, and I like to say what's in the folder, you could create a folder, it could list what's in it, and then when you go into the folder, this is just a new content area, and you could link to that quiz here as well. So now you have the opportunity to link to an area, link to a particular activity you want them to complete, or to organize those things into a folder so it's all in one place. And that is how I create and organize a homepage.